Hi guys, welcome to the channel and in today's episode we are going to start installing some brand new audio into our Land Rover Defender, so stay tuned. So here at LR Live we do like our mud stuff gear and in today's episode we're going to actually be installing a roof console which is going to allow us a little bit of extra storage but primarily it's going to enable us to fit a head unit, uh, just a really shallow DAB unit in the uh, roof uh, sort of area here. Now, unfortunately, the kit that they offer, which is a fantastic kit, isn't suitable for defenders with sunroofs. So we're gonna make it fit. So let's just go over the kit that you get. So it's basically, uh, with the exception of the uh, wiring um, relocation loom that you get to actually extend your uh, interior light a little bit further away um, it's just three pieces of ABS plastic so you've got the center console here uh, which has got obviously a new point where you can mount your interior light now we're going to fit the original interior light but I think moving forwards we're probably going to fit one of MUD's LED lights just because I think it'll look a bit nicer um, then you've got the aperture here where you can put your stereo or you could actually if you weren't fitting a stereo up high you can use this to mount a load of switches um, carling switches and the like they do a console uh, which enables you to do that so this is basically offered up into the center there and then you've got two of these um, rather large pieces that go either side and they're mounted again um, on the door frame itself and on the front and there is a location here which we may be able to use but I doubt it I think we're just going to tuck it underneath the lip um, so you'll see the issues that we have trying to fit it with a sunroof but hopefully this will still be a great video um, an instructional video for you if you want to fit it to a vehicle without a sunroof it should give you a good guide on how it's done now it's worth mentioning that MUD UK do offer some really good instructions I always find obviously that video instructions these days are a little bit easier to follow um, they're live if you like so you come across little snags that sometimes you're not going to get presented uh, in these instructions but it is a really nice step-by-step -step guide gives me everything that I need to know it says you need a drill four and a half mil drill bit six mil drill bit four mil drill bit eight mil socket and a um, posi drive Phillips headed screwdriver so nothing too complicated that's interesting so the one thing they don't tell you need is a trim removal tool trim clip removal tool which you will need so that is not in the list of tools required so get yourself a trim removal tool so the first thing we have to do is remove the sun visors then i rotate it round and lever it on the plastic use my little trim tool again just to remove that so you've got an eight mil here um, So we pull that down, there we go, and you've got a wire here, a little release block. So let's release that from your light. And then this plate, which is loose, has got your earth attached to it. So we need to remove that, and you've got your earth. So there we go, that is now removed. Okay, so we do get uh, an extension loom here, which you can see, and we're going to use that to actually just give us a bit more reach. Purple and grey goes to purple and grey obviously <clears throat> that's actually nearest the release clip if you're interested and then purple to purple there we go and that's all in snug and then you've got the negative or the earth there and then we've got our extension so we've got plenty of loom on here in this uh, center console piece you've got these sort of lugs uh, it's like a deep spacer lug and that's why you need such a long screw and they sit like so so we'll get that into place just feed that through there now you need to remove these later so uh, don't go mad but just get get the thing into place initially the first fasteners that you're going to be drilling to to actually locate are the ones at the front here and that is not something we are doing so now we're just going to drill through uh, the headliner so we can fit our fir tree uh, fixings either side there which will give this a bit more uh, stability so these sort of th thick fir tree clips they need a six mil hull right there is nothing behind there, so do not, whatever you do, drill through into the roof. So. Okay. 
but you can see that is literally just going into the headliner. Oh yeah, they go in nice. Okay, so we have got these two in nicely. Now what I've done is if you can just push them into the housing first, a couple of notches, and then get them lined up into the hole that you've created. There we go. You're gonna find it easier to actually knock them through. There we are. Now we've got this uh, fixed with our fir tree clips, we can remove the extra long sun visor screws, just temporarily, we'll do one side at a time. Don't wanna put too much pressure on those fir trees. Drop your sun visor into the panel itself, and just flip it, and we are ready to screw those back in. So you should be able to get them started with your fingers. It's ABS plastic, so you can over tighten it and squash it and it'll crack. So don't go super bonkers. That feels great. That's really, really actually quite secure. Now we're gonna be fitting it on the side here as well, but I'm really happy with that, how it's fitted. So we'll do the other side now, try and get a slightly closer up view for you. So that one started, that's good. And then this one good as well brilliant it's a really nice tight flush fit across to the windscreen I'll show you that in a bit it's what a nice really nicely made bit of kit I'm gonna be honest that looks so much more factory than I thought it was gonna look so yeah well chuffed with that it's all working nicely now we've got a couple more fasteners so you can see these two holes here uh, they need to be uh, secured with more fir trees so one here get it into the first bit and second yeah just watch as you're tapping them in because you can see them going in so when you know they're nearly there just tap them home and a little one extra bang, and that is imperfect. That's good. Dead blow hammer, definitely don't use a metal hammer, you destroy it. Now this is a little bit of a tricky one. I think we've got two options. We can either just tuck it underneath this seal. Um, let's try that. I'm not planning to put a load of weight on here at the end of the day, so, I'm not too worried that it's not supported in that position. We are gonna support it on the doors um, and that's gonna be plenty to hold that in position. Lovely jubbly. Now I do think this is the hardest bit and the reason for that is because everything's kind of tight against the the roof and this is splayed out and what we need is to push that up and in. Good. Oh, that's brilliant. Really good. That makes it a lot easier to do the other side. Same again, just clamp it with your thumb. Go to the outer edge of the slotted hole. Oh, that's really nice. It is definitely all pulling it in together. that it tells you to remove the loc the fixings for the headliner but you don't have to remove the one nearest uh, the b pillar so they can go back in now because we haven't fitted the front i'm going to use a black one in there so that can go back in i'll do the same on the other side so on a standard installation the only thing we haven't done is fitted these three here and the ones here and here. But the process is the same, you're just basically screwing or drilling into this headliner and then you're fitting a fir tree clip in place. Um, just make sure you get your clip covers on there. Now, the last thing we have to do is relocate our light switch, but what we're gonna do on our particular application is just now we're ready to see how this works. 
I've got adhesive foam on that side. I can take the backing off this one, but I'm gonna put it on the glass first. There. There we go. So it's on the glass. Now, if I peel this off, there, I should be able to stick. I'm gonna lower the winds, the, the sunroof. There. So, essentially, what we've now created is a secure mounting point. So that is good sticky stuff. If I wanted to, I suppose I could probably fit some fir trees in there just to sort of finish the look. And if I was really going to town, I'd trim that foam. But it looks now factory. And the reason I use foam is because obviously it can, it can expand and contract. I'm not going to do it because the glue's not gone off on the adhesive, but when we're ready to open the sunroof again, uh, that will just expand a little bit because uh, it's compressed and because it's on the hinge we're good to go so we now need to get our light back on there negative earth on there first and then you need to feed your loom extension do you remember when i said the purple and white was nearest the release clip so that means that the purple and white wants to go to the outside edge there nearest the release where the release clip was so it was worth mentioning, actually. <laughs> I say, if you're interested, you did need to be interested. So there we go, push those both in, and we're now ready to reconnect. One, and two. Just slide it down towards the windscreen. That's gonna be your best position, I think. Um, and don't over tighten these. Nip, nip. Now, obviously, check your light works. Ours doesn't. Uh, I have wired it incorrectly, but I think this random LED bulb is uh, not working. So that is another reason to fit the mud one. But for now, we shall put that back in place. So we put our blanking cover on there, and that is something you could use when you want to cut out your own switch panel. Let's pop it in. Um, I've not lost any visibility. You know, it's a really nice fit uh, on the windscreen. So now all we've got to do is just uh, take you around, do some close-ups and show you what we've done. There is the pod itself and you can see what we've done here. So we've obviously got our three foam uh, pads. They're all stuck together. Then we've stuck it to the glass and it's stuck to here. So if you don't have a sunroof fitted, these can be fitted quite easily. Uh, you just basically pop them in the same way as we did all the others. Now I always say that the things that look factory are the best and the fit and finish of this is really nice. It's just a credit to someone who's, you know, spent the time to design something that looks so factory. Like I say, it's a bit of a shame we couldn't actually fix uh, our locator there but obviously having a sunroof didn't work i'm really pleased with how that's worked there that's we've sandwiched the 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 top of it and there's no movement in there for our very very light stereo it's a lot easier than i imagined and the finish is much better it just again it's one of those things that makes you wonder why didn't land rover do that um it just makes so much sense but the fact is you've got these little scoops here so you can still drop your visor really easily it all goes into place it stays up out of the way i've not lost as i said before any visibility and uh you know i've got extra space now to lose stuff but we're really maximizing our um storage space in the vehicle now because we've got the cubby box we've got the under cubby box drawer we've obviously got the dashboard but that's not that secure and then we've got the areas up here so yeah great place for a rag for some sunglasses um all in all it's perfect but the reason we fitted it obviously is so we can fit our stereo on here so uh, in the next couple of weeks we'll be looking at fitting a head unit doing all the wiring we're going to be fitting an amp and some uprated speakers um, to give us some quality sound in here and we're going to link it to a dab radio it's going to be bluetooth basically this is definitely a product i would recommend both for practical use and also the way it fits it looks really good um, if you're interested in this product itself uh, and anything else that we've fitted uh, or featured in this video or any other videos i always put a link in the description below so that'll take you straight to the lr parts website where you can order one of these yourselves um, and hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have please do give me a thumbs up and do subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one